I want to say this, people, because I want to encourage people, people who are uh, striving in Christ, people who are out here trying, you know what I'm saying, to live their lives for God. I want to encourage you when times get hard, when things get difficult, no matter how bad you want to retaliate, uh, it's just like when, when Christ was beaten and, and spit on and, and every every horrible thing that they did to Christ is an example of what could happen to you in this world for, for because people take your kindness for weakness you feel what I'm saying so because they don't see you as a threat they will threaten you and you know uh, it's, it's sad that it has to be that way when you are only promoting peace why should you be persecuted I'm not doing any harm. Like, why is, why, why, um, am I being treated bad? You know what I'm saying? So I want to encourage, uh, people, you know, when, when times get hard, you know, when, um, when everything is going against you and you're doing everything that you can to do right, uh, I want to encourage you to uh, to to do even more to keep keep living your life for Christ. You know what I'm saying? Keep living your life for Christ because the person that was blocking the whole lane. Keep living. Hey, everybody, Mr. Light. Keep living your life for Christ um, because your reward is in heaven. It's a lot of people who do wrong on this on this earth because they don't believe that they will be punished. They don't believe it. Or they believe that, oh, you know, I can do all the dirt that I want, you know, because, you know, for whatever reason and... You know, in the end, you know, God will forgive me. It's like the boy who cried wolf, like the girl who lied wolf. You can't keep sitting up here lying and crying and using the Lord's name in vain and calling on the name of the Lord. Like, hey, hey, oh, uh, you know, call on the name of the Lord. And then when the Lord comes, oh, look at that. The Lord showed up for me. And then you laugh and giggle and go back to what she was doing. It's, it's serious out here. Like, people don't take uh, the word of God serious. Problem is, is a lot of people say, oh, well, the Bible's been tampered with. The Bible's been watered down by the white man. So they don't believe a lot of the things that apply to them or a lot of the things that don't make sense to them. And it's not... You, you can't just... It's just like if you were to open a book and read it, read one sentence out of it, or read a couple sentence, couple sentences out of it, do you think you're gonna understand that entire book? No. You know why? Because you haven't read and examined the entire book back and forth, forth and back, up and down, in and out. You know what I'm saying? So The Bible is like food for our souls. People wake up every day and eat. People go out on the weekends and, and drink and have a good time to relieve stress. But majority of the people are not applying the word of God like it is food for their soul, like it, like it is something that their life needs. They don't do it. So... You know, it, it's just, it's, it's, um, like you would know them by their fruits. You know what I'm saying? You would, you would know those in Christ, uh, by the way they treat others, by the way they handle situations, 
if somebody retaliates, that's why when Jesus, uh, when Jesus was being uh, arrested, he told, he told his uh, disciples was, uh, he told them it was Peter who cut the ear off. Uh, but he, he told them not to not to retaliate, like not to do that stuff. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. And that's real. That's real. And for someone who doesn't believe the word of God, they're not going to take that seriously. It doesn't make sense to them because they don't examine it enough. I'm not saying sit up and just let somebody do you wrong. Because even the Bible says we have the right to stand up like in times of war. God even sent some of his people out to war. But what we have to understand is you have to know when God is telling you to do something and when he's telling you not to do something. And that's the problem. That is the problem with uh, a lot of people. They don't have the discernment and they don't know. Uh, when God is telling them to do something When he's telling them to sit their behind down And Lean on him The Bible says that vengeance is the Lord's But we go out here and try to fight all the battles by ourselves With our own judgment It's funny how people say don't judge But They're misunderstanding that scripture You have to judge The world wouldn't exist without judgment because first of all, see, they don't understand what the word judgment means. Judgment is. To judge is to say if something is right or wrong. So even if you say something is right, there's people coming on their own realm. If one of them doesn't put their signal on and just jumps in front of me and almost hits my, the front of my vehicle, I'm going to say, hey, that was wrong. You know, that's judgment. Everybody judges, but the people who do wrong, they say don't judge me because they take that scripture out of context if you continue reading down at the bottom see they people read one sentence and then just just take off with it if you continue reading that entire uh uh paragraph it goes on and it tells you what it's talking about it's talking about hypocritical judgment so i can't sit up here and tell somebody hey man uh you need to quit uh fornicating if i'm fornicating I can't tell somebody, hey man, you need to quit getting drunk. If I'm getting drunk. It's talking about hypocritical judgment. It's not talking about judgment. But people take one scripture. It's like I can say, hey man, I'm going to the store. But then, and then somebody asks me, well, what store are you going to? Because I need some things. And then after that, I say, I'm going to Walmart. But if somebody would have just taken that one sentence that I said, hey, I'm going to the store. Somebody could assume I was going to H-E-B. And that would change the entire story. 